Hi, this is Mr. Ward, and I'm going to do a video on simplifying square roots. This is, of course, level 16 in this year's quadratics levels. Uh, so let's take a look at a couple of simple ones. I've got the square root of 16, square root of 36, and the square root of 64. Those are all going to be simplified as clean square roots. So because 16 is 4 squared, I can simplify that as 4. So that's the square root of 16. But we will have a plus or minus version if we're getting the full solution. If you're just getting what's called the principal root, you'd only deal with the plus 4. Similar with 64, we're going to have the plus or minus square root of 64, which will be 8. 8 times 8 is 64. 4 times 4 is 16. Also, negative 8 times negative 8 cancels out the negatives and gets you to 64 as well. Same with negative 4 times negative 4. See if you can figure out 36, the square root of 36 on your own. Pause the video and then see what I come up with. Assuming you paused the video, you would have ended up with 6 for the square root of 36, and it would be a plus or minus version because 6 times 6 and negative 6 times negative 6 both equal 36. <clears throat> now, 75 is a little trickier, because 75 is not a neat and tidy, perfect square. So what you'd want to do is we'd want to break 75 into factors. So 75 is 3 times 25, or 3 times 5 times 5. If you have a pair of factors, that represents a perfect square. 25 is 5 times 5, and you would take half of each any pair of factors and pull those out of the square root. So a thing about square roots, I'm going to come back to what I just said. A thing about square roots is that if I have a square root of a product like this, I can turn that into the product of square roots. So that would be the square root of 3 times the square root of 25. So there's a product of square roots. And then I can get the square root of 25. That's going to be 5 or negative 5. So I'm going to write it as plus or minus 5. If you're typing, you just do plus slash minus <clears throat> on the keyboard. So that's going to be square root of 5. Sorry, I'm sorry. Square root of 25 is plus or minus 5 because 5 times 5 is 25, and negative 5 times negative 5 is 25. 3, we can't get a neat and tidy square root of, so we're going to leave it inside square root jail. It's just going to be the square root of 3. And we now have what's called the exact square root here. Now, the reason this is an exact square root is this is the most exact way you can write this. 5 root 3 or negative 5 root 3. Um, and if it's just square root, you could just say root 3. <laughs> there is another way we could answer this, and that would be the estimated answer. And the way we would deal with that is with the false accuracy of decimals, we can get a rounded estimate of the square root of 3. The square root of 3 is an irrational number. Irrational means it can't be expressed as a fraction of whole numbers or integers. Ratio is a word for fractions. That's where... It the word rational number comes from. Irrational cannot be expressed as a rational number. And in fact, an irrational number has a decimal part that goes on forever and does not have a repeating pattern. So I could go here and I could type in square root, S-Q-R-T, of 3, and it will give me this number here, 1.732058181. But it goes forever and ever and ever. So square root of 3, let's see, million digits. Let's see if we get something with that. The first million digits of the square root of 3. Okay, and there are the first million digits of the square root of 3. Uh, there will not be a repeating pattern that is consistent ever. And this first million digits of the square root of 3 is really just the beginning because you would go on forever. Who has the time for that? So if you wanted an estimated square root of 3, we'd go up to the top of this and we would round somewhere reasonable. Usually people will round at about 
here or here. So it ended up being 1.732 or 1.7321 if you wanted to lop off at the five. So 0 0.17321 is a reasonable rounding of it, but it is not the exact answer. So the exact answer is going to end up being plus or minus, so the exact answer of the square root of three is just the square root of three. The exact answer of the square root of 75 is five root three or negative five root three. So let's try another one here. <clears throat> I guess I'm going to, um, I will have to delete those drawings or move them. So I'm just gonna leave it on this page. So here we go, move back up to here. Usually those drawings move with me. Okay, <clears throat> so I've got 80 and I've got 30. So square root of 80, what you want to do is break 80 into its factors. I'm going to let you pause the video and see if you can come up with all of the prime factors of 80 and then see if there's any pairs there. Or maybe you already know what the largest square, perfect square hiding in 80 is, but that's what you want to do. Find uh, the largest perfect square that is hiding inside of 80 and factor it out of 80 and see what you have. Assuming you pause the video, you may have already realized that 80 is 16 times 5. If you didn't know that 80 was 16 times 5, you might have realized that 80 is 2 times 40 and 40 is 2 times 20 and 20 is 2 times 10 and 10 is 2 times 5. So 2 times 2 times 2 times 5 equals 80. And so we've got this stuff here, which is two pairs of two. So the square root, you would take half of that, which will be two times two, which is four. And I'm gonna show you that that's true up here. That's gonna be a 16 there. We'll break it up into the square root of 16 times the square root of five. And the square root of 16 will be four plus or minus, there's a plus square root of 16 and a minus square root of 16, root five. Five stays in square root jail. Five is an irreducible uh, square, square root of five is irreducible, which means you can't actually reduce it to a rational number. So we'll leave it in here for exact form. If we wanted to find out the estimated form, you'd need a calculator. What the square root of 30? Are there any perfect squares hiding in the square root of 30? Check it out, find out, pause the video and see what you think. Well, 30 is, if you've paused the video, I'm gonna let you know now that 30 is two times three times five. None of those are perfect squares. So it turns out the simplified version of the square root of 30 is plus or minus, wait for it, the square root of 30. 30, the whole thing stays in square root jail. Now I'm gonna erase some stuff. Okay, I erased some stuff and now let's go ahead and try a couple more. I'll scroll down a little bit here. So here's some nice ones. All of these contain perfect squares, but are not perfect squares themselves. So see what you can do with the square root of eight. And I've paused the video and then see what I did. Okay, assuming you pause the video, we can turn the square root of eight into the square root of four times two. And then we can turn that into plus or minus two, because we can take the square root of four and that's plus or minus two, but two stays in square root jail, so it's two root two is the exact answer. If you wanted an estimated answer, you could go right here and say, square root so two square root two and you're going to end up with something like 2.83 and you'd have to round somewhere because you don't have forever to write that number because that's how long it would take to write that number forever okay now let's try 18 so see if you can break 18 into factors so you have a perfect square Okay, if you pause the video, I will now go ahead and reveal now that you've unpaused the video. So 18 is 
9 times 2. And so the square root of 9 times 2 is the square root of 9 times the square root of 2. Well, the square root of 9 is plus or minus 3. And the square root of 2 is going to stay square root of 2 because we can't do anything with it. Try 32 now. 32 is the square root of 32. Pause the video and see if you can work it out. Assuming you pause the video, we can break 32 into 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Five factors of 2. Or 16 times 2. And 16 times 2, we can break down the square root of 16 is plus or minus 4. And 2 stays in square root jail. Okay. I think that's a reasonable place for me to stop. And I wish you the best on the rest of these. I see there's the same question here and here. Okay, we'll leave that alone. All right, I hope that was helpful.